Saturday, so that as we go into resurrection, we may understand also the Saturday. And I want to bring in uh, Brother Deus for a, for a few minutes to just give us a summary of, of, of the reflection that was there tonight. Uh, he shared earlier, I hope some of you got the chance to listen. So Brother Deus, I want to invite you for a few minutes to just reiterate the message of, of this silent Saturday. Okay, um, thank you very much. I don't know whether I say Mr. MC. <laughs> okay, so I'm very grateful to be here, especially this evening of Holy Saturday. Uh, as I've shared meditating, like I was trying to share what a Holy Saturday is and what happens in the Holy Saturday. So, and uh, uh, why I share people who, that there is a chant that I shared, it's, uh, they, they, it's in Gregorian, and uh, it's a chant always that they share, we, we call it Easter Proclamation, Easter Proclamation, uh, to those who go to church, uh, before they light that pas the Paschal candle, the Paschal candle, which is, it's always big and tall, and it's always, there's always a cross and each year is written there. And, and um, the year that is written there, it's now like this year is 2021. So as it is written 2021, there, is, there, there are many writings there. And of one of the writings, there is something like Alpha, uh, which shows Jesus the Alpha and Omega. Then there is that light on top which also shows something, a sign that the light has come into the world. So uh, in the, after the procession of, 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 of Easter, uh, before the light, that candle, and they are writing also that candle, there is that song they sing to show that the, the Jesus who was crucified on Friday, and you remember like on Friday, they say from noon, there was that. So, after evening, the darkness, yes, light was there, sun was there, uh, but there was that dark moment, the dark moment where the Savior died, and there was that anguish uh, that, that was into the whole world. The whole world was in confusion. The mystical life revealed to some saints, they say that at that moment, the world was in too deep silence that you could look at people and you see all oh, people are quiet. Many didn't know what was happening. And imagine it was right away there in Jerusalem in Calvary. But the whole world was into that moment, into that. In, they, they were that feeling, you know, a soul when there's something missing or something is happening, the, the soul can detect, as soul detect, then uh, all over people can know and can understand. So this Holy Saturday, this Holy Saturday, it's really very important to our lives as Christians. Why? It, there is that silence, silence, that silence. And it, in silence, there is life. And in silence, there is recreation. Remember in Genesis, where God like was to create Eve for, for, for Adam, he had to make him go into a sleep. He had actually had to silence him. But the Bible says he made him sleep. But he silenced him. As he silenced him, they be created. So this Holy Saturday, there was transformation. There was transformation and purification. You know, purification, because the, the whole world, as the devil came, they, they describe when the devil came, is the dark. Devil represents darker. So the darkness filled the whole world. Sin brings dark into the souls of people. Sin, sin, like dark is the sorrows of people that they are able to they are unable to see and they are unable to hear and recognize that's why it's very, it's, it's it's very difficult for most of the people that even god can speak to them they, it, it, and it's hard for them to differentiate is this god is this the devil or it's my voice when we see the life of saint uh, saint anthony of egypt 
This is the man who went deep into the desert. And they say this desert was infested with, with demons like who would appear like human beings. But when he went there, he entered into the deep silence. Only he would chant the chant, the, the Psalms, he would sing the Psalms. And on that day, like towards Easter, the devil like would come and attack him lively. And there's a time actually he went to a command, was taken to the temple and reaching the temple by his, the followers. They knew he's dead, but on waking up, he said, I'm going back. As he went back reaching, now the demons began roaring like lions, scorpions, venoms, they began lowering. So he came up. As they were rolling, he spoke to them and said, since you are rolling, it means you are harmless. You are like a dog without a teeth. A dog without a teeth cannot bite. So from there, the demons left him. As they left him, something surprising, Jesus came and appeared to him. So his question was like, Lord, where were you, really, when demons were tormenting me? They were beating me, really, to the extent I almost died, and you were there, what? It's a question that, really, it's a real question that I think everyone, like, asks God, why are you part in this? But in that, it really helped him that God said that I was watching and I was with you and I was transforming your life to another level. So then St. Anthony of Egypt, he, he moved into another level. So why in the silence of him being tortured, in the silence of why faith was being abandoned, many things were happening in his life. So that's why like we see at the resurrection of the Lord before we, this midnight, like, there is that light that is lit. Our, light, our lives are lit again, and our current situations are transformed. The issue is that most of us Christians, we go with the past and we go with the current. Tomorrow you will see the readings where the people are saying, ah, he said he, he, he's dead, he's dead. People are still thinking Jesus is dead, and in actual sense he had risen. So most of the times we Christians like this, we pray for situations, after praying for situations, because there is that silent and things that have changed, for us we stay in the past while the present is there. Like the way the Lord had risen, but people were saying he's still dead. Why? Because of that silence that was going on and, and on rising and rose in the middle of the night, in the deep silence of the night. So, so that's literal I can share about the Holy Saturday. God bless you. God bless you very much, Brother Dells. Such a powerful insight on Holy Saturday, <clears throat> on the silence that was. And I want to reiterate this that. It was, it was a dark moment for everyone who was waiting upon Jesus. I want to imagine very few people still had hope. Uh, first, I want to believe that Our Lady, Mother Mary, had hope. She was sure on the words he said. I want to believe that John also had the hope. That's why on seeing the rolling, the rolled stone and going in he didn't bother going he, he he remembered you know the lord said a few people trusted but the majority didn't trust they thought you know uh we are done here the lord i'm a tuza apa i'm a tuangusha now we put our trust on the wrong guy it's very sad you know we put our trust on the wrong guy and he has also decided to desert us and go under. And it, it's pretty unfortunate that when we are faced by circumstances, when we are faced by situations that are unfathomable, at wezi zielewa, at wezi zitafakari, ama atu zingamui halizile, we tend to really think that the Lord has abandoned us. And the most important thing we need to know that Whenever people go through tests and trials, the teacher 
is always quiet, but not away. And he knows that we are going to do well. So Jesus, in the silence, also something else happened. The devil, the devil, the devil thought he had a plan, a humongous plan that once I kill this one, that I failed to kill when he was being born, that I have won this time around. This time around, it is me who's on top. But as soon as Jesus gave up his spirit, that very moment, as we were celebrating it yesterday, that very moment he gave his spirit, he hit the place of the dead. And that's when the devil understood what a mess he has gotten himself into. Remember at Genesis chapter 3, he was able to take authority away from Adam. He was able to take life away from Adam. So the devil was in charge of the keys of life and also he was in charge of the authority. And that's why the Lord would always release authority before he sent his disciples. So Luke chapter 10, verse 19, he would release authority. Uh, while he sends them two by two, he would release authority. Because the authority, the human divine authority had been relinquished to the devil. And so the person who, was, who had the authority is the devil. And also life, man had to die because of the sin of Adam. But when the second Adam, out of the mistake of the devil, convincing humanity to kill their savior, little did he know that a righteous being was going to hit the place of the dead. Remember, there was no access to the place of the dead unless you are human. So humanity was the only way to take charge of earth and humanity was the only way after the falling to go into heads death so meaning that there was the only way also for god to be able to redeem us is number one become human through jesus emmanuel god with us number two is take the place to once he dies he can access heads and he's accessing heads with all power and authority and that is when the devil understood, oh my, oh my, how did I get myself into this fix? And I want to believe, uh, I, none of you is going to go to hell and bring us a testimony. Uh, but I want to believe and imagine that in hell things are thick. I once read this story by Emmanuel Eli. I don't know if you have ever read that book. It was called Delivered from the Power of Darkness. I read it when I was in high school. And it was Emmanuel Eli was caught up as a devil worshiper. And while they were serving the kingdom of Satan, uh, he accessed uh, heads to see Lucifer and to be given work. And while he was there with this opportunity to see Lucifer, he decided to ask him, you know, what happened when Jesus, you know, the moment he mentioned Jesus, the words of Philippians chapter four came alive. Uh, chapter two, they came alive that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. You know, in, the, in, in this universe, in heaven and under the universe, they, they shall confess. Everyone fell from their seat. And he was sternly warned and told, never ever mention that name in this place ever again. Meaning that the name of Jesus has authority even in hell. You know, some of us, when we call Jesus, we do not know the power, the sheer power and authority that name carries. And so Jesus landed in, say, in Satan's territory and showed him, excuse me, sir, can you first of all hand over authority? Mm, put it here. Two, give me those keys of life so that my people, uh, and therefore the Lord, I will give some scriptures that I want to highlight tonight. Tonight, I just want to highlight a few scriptures so that we we are going to take a, um, the meditation I'm going to guide you is going to come from those uh, scriptures. That the Lord has authority. And so Saturday is an important night whereby things and the devil is being dealt a blow. 
And before we even begin just talking about any form of resurrection, I want you to just look at your situation. And tonight, prophetically, deal a blow to situations that require permanent death in your life. Deal a blow to situations that require closure in your life. These situations that have become recurrent, zimekuwa kidonda dugu, hakiendi, hakiondoki, hakiponi. Usiku wa leo, kabla hatujazungumzia hali yoyote ile ya ufufuko, nataka tuinue tu sauti zetu kwa dakika chache. Tukaweza kutimiza put them down and decree upon them that you are going to stay in heads. You are not going to arise and torment my life again. Whether it is a curse, whether you feel it is a rejection, whether you feel it is something that it has those recurrent life. situations, Rama, Kama, Sandarari, put them down in the name of Jesus Christ. In this night, we want to surrender every situation that has befooled us, that has refused to be put down, that has refused to go away, that has refused. Tonight, I summon the, the power of Christ that iliteremuka kuzimu. Nguvu ya mungu wa toi iliteremuka kuzimu. Ingia kuzimu kwa hali zangu. Ingia kuzimu kwa hali zangu. Anza kuzitukunya ngane mamlaka ya kunisumbua. Nyanganya mamlaka hali ambazo zinanisumbua nyanganya ufunguo wa uhai kwa hali ambazo zinanisumbua rama kibo katika jina la Yesu naweka chini umaskini ambao umenikatalia kwa jina la Yesu Kristu go down to head every demonic tormentations that have attacked me in the night have attacked me in my dreams ma kukula mchakula katika ndoto zangu i demand and from today go to heads in the name of Jesus Christ usiku huu ambao Yesu anatawala katika uko dunia hiyo ya chini nenda huko na usiwahi kunisumbua tena nguvu zote za giza every demonic powers that have been sent against me that have been working against me in the powerful name of Jesus Christ go to heads and do not recur do not recur every recurring situation rakama <coughs> sandal Go now, go now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rama mama mama. Rika kaka 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 masandarara kasirika. Kasirika na hali hizo. Kasirika nazo. Rema mama mama kashandiriri. Kama sandiriri. Yakaba shandururu. Rima sandara rikiriri. Rima sandarara. Rika na masandiriri. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Zote. Recurring situation. Recurring situation. Nenda. Nenda chini ya migu ya su kristu. No more, no more. Tonight we are tunachania hapa. Tonight tunachania hapa. Tonight tunachania hapa. You're not moving to the next. You're not moving to the next stage of my life. You're not moving to the to my resurrection part of me. Rama mama mama kia raba sandiriri. Name it. Tell it. Tell it to Jesus by name. Rubo kaba sakire. In the name of Jesus Christ. No more. You're not recurring. You're not going to recur. Rikama sandara rikiriri. Rakama sandara rikiri araba, rekaraba sandara rikiri riri, rima sandara rikiri araba sandere, rakama sandara rikiri araba kama. In the name of Jesus, tunaweka chini, tunaharibu, tunabomoa zote. Kwa jina takatifu la Yesu Kristu, kwa jina takatifu la Yesu Kristu, kwa jina takatifu la Yesu Kristu. Rikama sandara in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are no more, no more. Eh, tonight tunachania. Tonight tunachania hapa kama sandarari kiriara in the do your business in the spiritual realm nenda kuzimu nenda nguvu za kiza ambazo zimefuata familia yangu kwa miaka na mikaka nguvu pepo za wazimu pepo za depression nguvu za even mental physical mental disturbances zote katika jina la Yesu Kristu chini ya miguu ya Yesu Kristu sasa chini ya endeni kuzimu Yeah, muende kuzimu leo Yesu anavunja vunja hali zote za kuzimu ambazo zimeweza kutawala na kutamalaki juu ya maisha yangu in the name of Jesus Christ rama mama yakaba shandiriri in the name of Jesus release release them we well, wafute kazi futa kazi hali hizo futa kazi hizo hali futa hizo kazi zifute hizo kazi 
kama sandarari kiliara that kila wakati utaishi utaishi hautoshi hautoshi haufiki nothing works out for you every time the situations you are always the one behind scenes you are always the one late you are always the one delayed you are always the one suffering in the name of Jesus Christ tunazituma zote kuzimu every death that has been manipulating us go go now go now in the powerful name of Jesus Christ go now go now we surrender uh, we surrender completely to the lord cleanse us tonight in your grave lord cleanse us tonight in your grave lord cleanse us from death cleanse us from all lack of authority that <clears> tukiomba <throat> mungu mapepo azitufiki pepo zingine tumeziombea miaka mingi haziendi mahali lakini leo mungu authority to sufficient kutokuwa na authority kama ni dhambi saa hii tuna tubu zote zikatakasike maana damu yako imetosha uh, tusadaka yako ya kalvari imetosha kakamilifu ni kamilifu it is complete your sacrifice of the cross is complete it is complete inatosha 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 Ndaka yako ya Kalvari inatosha. Inatosha kutulinda, inatosha kutupigania. We thank you King of Kings. We adore you and exalt you. Come on just begin to thank the Lord for the victory over the current situation. And I want to decree by faith in your thanksgiving victory over the current situation. Victory over the current situation. No more tonight. We are set free tonight we are set free in the powerful name of Jesus Christ we pray in thanksgiving in thanksgiving amen 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 goodness powerful moment i, I wanted to just I, the lord put in my heart three scriptures that are I want to share with you in terms of resurrection that the Lord is going to pick us up and bring us to a place of resurrection. And, and tonight in a powerful way, I just want you to tune in, in by faith completely. And if your spirit remains at a place of prayer as I speak, don't worry, you remain at a place of prayer. Your spirit is going to be listening to me. So it's okay. So your your spirit ha- has the ability to multitask but as human beings may not have the ability so if the lord keeps you at a place of prayer as i am teaching it is fine it is okay so usijione na ujishuku usijishuku hata kidogo so the first scripture that i want to release and to us is first corinthians chapter 15 verse 55 to 57 I know it's being typed out on the chat so you can look it up so I want to give you a second to just turn your bibles quickly first corinthians chapter 15 verse 55 to 57 If you're there, say amen. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55 to 57. And this is the beautiful word of the Lord. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? And then verse 56. The sting is of death is sin and the power of sin is the law goes on to say but thanks be to god who gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ jesus christ death where is your victory and tonight i want to profess to somebody's life that number one you shall not hit your grave early 
it, we, we want to declare by faith, we shall not hit our graves early. That which you are sent to release to this universe has to be released. And therefore you are not going to face death until you have accomplished the mission and the plans of God. This is what God wants us to do. And therefore, death, where is your victory? So if the devil had any death planned to shortcut you and send you back home early, that one tonight is over. As Jesus is being resurrected, because we are not going to be ignorant, and that's why we are awake tonight. That's why we are not taking our time to sleep. It's because as Jesus resurrects, we want to be positioned. And, and remember, this already happened. So we are, all, we are doing something like mass. You see, what mass is, is commemoration. It is a Eucharistic celebration. It is a thanksgiving. It is something that happened that we, the Lord asked, do this in memory of me. So even this resurrection that we are celebrating tonight, it is not that it is happening tonight. It has already happened. But because tonight is a special anointed time to remember, commemorate, then we are, uh, we are connecting ourselves. We are connecting ourselves with the resurrection that is happening, that happened 2000 years ago. And therefore, none ignorantly declaring to ourselves that we are arising with Jesus. We are arising with Jesus, meaning that every iota of death, and I want to say this because I have heard a lot of this. We are celebrating the second Easter season in the times of Corona. And Corona has a carnage of human beings. People have been felled by Corona. People have died. And I want to say that it's not only Corona that is in the world that is killing people, but we have many other diseases. But this is what we want to declare. You may be having your own personal disease that is there in your body, whether it is pressure, whether it is diabetics. But tonight we want to decree death. Where is your sting? Because you cannot kill me. And, and, and this is by faith. I want you to really be charged up in faith. Death, where is your sting? You cannot kill me. So we want to bind every disease that you cannot kill me. You cannot finish me. You cannot, even that corona. Corona, you are useless in terms of me because I have the Lord. See, death got its power. That's 56, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 says, the sting of death is sin, meaning that if sin is present in your life, my goodness, you will die for every, from everything. Corona, diabetes, because sin is present. But when sin is, has been exited from your heart, sin has been exited from my soul, then there is, death has no authority over me. Death becomes what our brother Deus has describe the enemy that it is just a roaring lion that it has no sting has no sting meaning that we have been called to the resurrection of the lord to arise in all pieces of our lives to wake up and to know that god has resurrected us and so we want to speak to those recurrent situations that have been putting us down listen carefully if you had death at the end of your tail, ah, it's over. Out easy. I shall not die. I shall live to proclaim the glory of the Lord. And we need to come up to, you know, people, there are very many people here who, who have fears of death. You know, they operate with that fear of death. Oh, what will happen to me if I die early? What will happen to me? You know, you are even calling death to come early. It is an amazing story. But tonight, you are going to tell a different story. That the Lord, now I want to introduce another scripture right here, right now. Uh, John chapter 11, verse 25 to, uh, to 26. But I'm going to just state the part of Jesus. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. This was the story of Lazarus' death. But Jesus was decreeing. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. And to prove himself, he decided. <coughs> Sorry. 
he decided to face the grave of Lazarus, who had slept longer than Jesus slept in his grave. Four nights. And he calls him, Lazarus, come out. And tonight, in the resurrection spirit of the of Easter, the Lord is calling you out from any grave the devil has put you. And I want, I feel it in my spirit that some of us are totally remote controlled. That it may not apply to everyone, but allow me to say this because I feel it in my spirit that someone in our midst has been alifungwa and. I am seeing something like Kichawi, yeah, yeah, this, this type of remote control that we used to see in the Nigerian movies, that umefungiwa mahali. So if someone wants you to suffer, they just, uh, whatever they, they remote control you with, they just touch it and something goes wrong with your life. If they want to touch your business, they just touch you from where they are. They remote control your life and things just go wrong. And you face situations whereby things just go wrong and you don't know. Everything was going right, was going right, then something goes wrong. And it can be only in one particular area of your life or in many particular areas of your life. So it doesn't matter. But the Lord is saying, I am the resurrection and the life. So receive the life of Jesus Christ receive life come alive in the name of jesus christ reka masanda nari kiria rarara bumumutio yote ambaye amefungwa na nguvu zote za kichawi ambao zina remote control mahali popote zina remote control mahusiano yake zina remote control uh, biashara zake uchumi wake zina remote control maombi yake zina remote control mateso ambao yanamkumba ya in the name of jesus christ i send the resurrection power of jesus to the very tabernacles to the very altars of, 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 of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Be ye resurrected. Ngoe kutoka madhabau ya kishetani. Ngoe huyu ambaya na nisikiliza kutoka madhabau ya kishetani in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you immediately kama umeanza kuchomwa. Just know that it is the enemy and una, you are being set free. Rama mama 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 kesha. I send fire. I send the life of Jesus. The resurrection power and authority of Jesus. Where you have been born in the altars of darkness. Nakut pale or chote whether it is an effigy of you whether it is your garments that were picked away from you and put in those altars i set them on fire that you may receive the resurrection of jesus in the powerful name of jesus rama arise in the in the in the life of christ fufuka sasa fufuka sasa fufuka fufuka hiyo biashara fufuka hiyo masomo fufuka hiyo uchumi fufuka hiyo ndoa fufuka in the name of Jesus Christ fufuka hiyo mahusiano some of us have been sabotaged in every good relationship you have met your Mordecai you have met your divine connectors but the enemy has worked around the clock to ensure that you were na divine connectors moment of sana tonight resurrection Resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Fufuka, your divine connectors. Fufuka in the name of Jesus Christ. What am I saying to you? Life changes. Fufuka in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Be ye released. Be ye released. And now I want to release this, the, the third word. The third word that the Lord released into my spirit. Luke chapter number 24. Verse 2. Goodness. Allow me to just worship for a minute because I feel the presence of God. Lord, I worship you. I exalt you. You overwhelm me, Lord. Oh, you overwhelm me, Jesus. I adore you, Lord. Lord, you wash. I worship you, Lord. I worship in the beauty of your holiness. I worship you. In the beauty of your glory, I worship you. I worship you, my King. I worship you. I worship you of glory. I worship you, my Jesus. I worship you. I don't know who's here and and, 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 and the wedding, the wedding, the wedding. The wedding has proven wrong. It was right, but it has proven wrong. Just, just for a minute, help me. Help me just relieve this burden that has come into my heart of, of a wedding that went wrong. And, and I want us to speak life again to that wedding. Whoever it is, we are going to get the testimony soon. 
Rama mama mama kashandara rikiri araba rikara mashandara rikiri araba shandara rikiri araba shandiri ya kara speak life speak life to that wedding speak life to the wedding ah mashandara to that marriage speak life 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 in the name of Jesus name resurrect in Jesus name resurrect kara masakana life Life of Jesus, the resurrection power of Jesus. In the name, we speak life. Life in the name of Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. Uhai. Pata Uhai. Lord, we worship. We worship. We worship. We worship. Yakama Sandarara, you are the resurrection and the life. You are the resurrection and the life. You are the resurrection and the life. So the third script, Luke chapter 24, verse 2. Quickly open your Bible. All these scriptures, you want to put them down. And even as we finish and as we get into, we will go into Easter, I want you to put them down. This, these are prophetic scriptures that you're going to be declaring over your life in this Easter season. You want to celebrate what the Lord will do with these scriptures because they are going to come alive in you. So I want you to release the third one. Luke chapter 24, verse number two. And the word of the Lord says, they found that the stone had been rolled away from the tomb. I want to say that again. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the tomb. And I want to say this. It took several men to roll that stone. And you remember during the resurrection of that John chapter 11, there is a, when, when, I don't know why the name is, Lazarus, yes. Lazarus was being raised from the dead. They, several men had to roll the stone away. So these are women who are heading to the grave. And then they thought, you know, what about the stone? But the stone had been rolled away on their behalf. And I heard the Lord saying, my spirit, and I want to receive it for me, for my family, for my friends, for life changers, for everyone that is listening. And also you personify it in those levels. And I heard the Lord say that if you align yourself during this Easter season, the stones that have been harboring your progress, the stones that have been hindering your advancement, the stones that have been barricading you from being seen, Men are not going to roll them away for you. Human beings are not going to roll them away for you. But tonight in the resurrection power of Christ, God is sending angels. Angels have your address. Angels have been dispatched to roll the stone away on your behalf. To roll the stones away that have been hindering you. you tonight is a resurrection night. 
whether we like it or not, the Lord is going ahead of us to roll away the situations, to roll away the hindrances, to roll them away. He himself is dispatching angels on your behalf. It is not by power, not by men, but by the spirit of the Lord. He is releasing an angel. Allow, allow me to take a moment and just receive, receive for myself. Rikama sandara, rikiriyama sandere, yakama sandara, rikiriyara, rama sandara, rikiriyara, rama sandere, rikama sandara, rikiriyama sandara, rikiriyara, rama sandara, rikiriyere, rakama sandara, rikiriyere. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus. Lord, roll the stones away over my life. Roll the stones away over my situation. Roll them away, Lord. I have tried. I have failed. Now I do not have the strength. But Lord, you are the strength in my life to roll them away. Send those angels, Lord. I receive them. I receive them, Lord. I don't even need to see them, Jesus. I need to see the stones rolled away. That's all I need to see. I, I will acknowledge you. I will know it is you, Lord. It is you because I have tried everything. It did not work but you are making it work for me tonight. I celebrate you, my Jesus. I celebrate you, my Lord. I celebrate you, my King. I celebrate you, Holy One of Israel. I celebrate you, my King of glory. I celebrate you, Jesus. I celebrate you. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the tomb. And whatever tomb that has held your destiny, and whatever tomb that has held your future. Receive what God is going to do for you. He's rolling it away. He is rolling it away. Oh, how I bless your holy name, Jesus. How I give you glory. How I give you exaltation, my King. Thank you. Please come on. Celebrate the Lord. Be on your feet. Just take a dance around you. Nobody, some, some people are in your house will not understand. But you know where you have been stuck. You know how long you have been stuck. You know how you have prayed. And things have not been moving. But the Lord has dispatched angels on your behalf. You go forth. You go ahead. <laughs> He is going to roll the stones away. He is going to roll the stones away for you. He is. It is now not going to be your power. It is now going to be the Lord. It is now going to be him. 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 Him, him, him. And he's going to work for you. Thank you, Jesus. I celebrate you, my Jesus. I celebrate you, my King. I celebrate you, my God. I celebrate you, my hero. I celebrate you, King of Kings. Thank you, King of Glory, for dispatching <coughs> to support. Thank you, Lord, for dispatching those angels to support me, to help me out. I was in serious trouble, but Lord, you have saved me. You, I didn't know what, how it's going to happen, but Lord, I received the rolling away of the stones in every grave that has our destinies. How I thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray and we all say amen. 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 It is done. Jesus. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Give glory. All the glory and honor and thanksgiving. Thank you, Dennis, for that powerful sharing. Just bless your, your life. We bless you that God may continue to empower you with his grace, with his love. You and your family, that God may continue to shine his light upon you in each and every single way. Kabakama? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Bless God, you are back. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was I was I was getting uh, some spiritual resources. Now we thank God. We thank God for you, bro. So will you take over from where Dennis has left? Yes, by God's grace. Amen. 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 I feel, I feel uh, we continue to worship the Lord. Yes. The only way that we can invoke his power, his power of his grave, and uh, finally the power of his, his selection is to worship him. As we declare, yes, he's the Lord most high. Let's sing deep from our heart. Let's declare as we worship Jesus. Yes, is the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord, Moses. Yes, you are the Lord, Moses. Jesus, we worship you. Yes, you are the Lord, Moses. Yes, you are the Lord. Oh, Jesus. We will never know. Fall me. We will never know. Fall me. We will never know. We will never know. Falme we we ni bwana Falme we we ni una tawala yes we we ni bwana we we ni mungu wa mungu we we ni kimbili Fame ana fame au na tawala Yesu Yes ata kusimbwana na tawala Aye ho Yesu atawala na tawala Oh you are Lord my foundation Yes Lord Yes, <laughs> Oh, yes, you are the Lord. Moses. Yes, you are the Lord. Moses. 
Shiyama kokoshi riyama kandiria roko mosika yema konde riyama sekema yema kokoshi kandere nebo roma sika kayande riyama saya riyama saya maya sekeme nerikama robo sika kayama teke sekende riyama kokoshi ya riyako mochi riyama kiyakasi riyama kokoshi romo ya 
Kaza Ria Mande Ria Mande Ria Mande Robo Shika Kakaya Shika Maya Shika Mayama Roko Koshika Roko Koshika Ma Ria Masika Ria Bakasaka Ria Masaka Ria Boko Shika Tunakuinua Uriya Shinda Kipuna Mauti Tunakuinua Uriya Shuka Kuzino Ukampokonya Shetani Mamlaka Mungu Ukafufuka Yes Ukasima Mamlaka Yote Ya Minguni Na Duniani Ata Chinya Uzimu Ni Ako Buana Oh Tunakuinua Tunakuwa Dimisha We exalt Your Name Ria Boko Kaya Ria Maseke Ria Bakosia Ria Makosia Le Eseke Ria Bakosia La Bakosika Ria Maseke Lord, we proclaim you now for your majestic power. Riyama Seke, Lord, come, Riyama Seke, release your power. Riyama Seke, Riyama Kosha. Lord, we proclaim you now. Roll for Koshika, Riyama Kosika, your majestic, Reni, oh, Riyama Shika, Roll, Riyama Kosika. Oh Lord, oh Jesus, more of your power, Lord. Oh, there is a power we exult. Majesty, we Lord, come upon us now. Release your power and let your blessings fall. Lord, we proclaim you now. Lord, we proclaim you now. And your mighty power. And your mighty power. And your awesome majesty, and your awesome majesty, Lord, come upon us now. We raise your power and let Let's sing together, Lord, we proclaim you now. Lord, we proclaim you now. You mighty power and your awesome majesty. Lord, come upon us now. We wish your power and let your presence fall. Oh, 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 oh. Zako, Uwekoako, Utawale, Angu Fuzako, Uwepoako, Utawale. Lord, as we continue to worship, Lord, as He we are almost to uh, to anand our program, Lord. But our spirit will not end. Rosetto azito maliza. Buana tunakuinua. Kumbali unotifikisha weni ebeneza. Asante Yesu. Unafanya upia. You did already. You have done already. But you renew what you have done. When you go down to the hell, ukampokonya shetani mamlaka, ebuana, unakamilisha kwa maisha kila moja. For each and every one of us, for our children, for our wives, for our husbands, for our parents, for our family, for our people, for life changes, 
Jesus, I glorify you. We are in the princess of your altar. We lift your name, Jesus, in the altar of life changes. Tunakuinua katika madhabahu ya life changes. We lift you, Jesus, in the functionality of your altar of life changes. Mashika. Yama ko ya sikante. What you did, Lama Shika, down from the hell, you are renewing and fulfill it in our life in the name of Jesus. I see the power of your grave and resurrection is go deep for each and every one. Is 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 killing and is 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 burning and it is firing every trigger evil mechanism in our family that has been bringing curses that has bring has been bringing uh, poverty death stagnation robo sickness mashika marobo sika riamasi i feel the power of resurrection i feel the power of the grave of jesus that he is burning and is firing is firing every trigger mechanism lamo shika every plant that our every father didn't plant it will be uprooted jesus you answered and say in matthew chapter 15 verse 13 that every plant that our every father didn't plant it will be uprooted and lord i declare the power of your grave and resurrection to uproot whatever the plant lama shika that our every father that your father, our every father didn't plant, Lama Shika. And in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 to 10, you have given us authority to uproot and destroy so that we plant and build, Mashika. Robo Shika. And it is written, Lama Shika, the same power of the Holy Spirit that lies Jesus from the dead is living in us. Riyama Shika Kayamashia. Robo sika kama shika, riyama koko ya, riyaba koshi ante, riyama ya si, ro koko shika, la ya sika, riyama saka, ivo in eltens, lama shi in eltens, la ya shika, urithi muovu, wa familia na uko, urithi wa giza na nguvu za giza, unatuachilia kwa nguvu ya Ya madabau, ya kaburi la yesu. By the power of the altar, of the grave of Jesus. Ama shika ya roko sika. Ria maseke kiria. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ria bashika. In Jesus' name, we pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amina, Amina, Amina. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Yeah, the presence of the Lord is in our midst. We bless the Lord. Yes. There is nothing will be left behind. Akuna chochote ambacho kita achwa. Chochote kita shuguli kiwa. Chochote kisicho chaki mungu as prophetically Jesus tunapokumbuka alishuka kuzimu na bado anakamilisha kazi kubwa chini ya nchi kuzimu deep in the hell Jesus is fulfilling so as we remember Jesus is fulfilled anakamilisha kwetu what he did anakamilisha kwetu kwa yale mambo ambayo yamekuwa ya giza ya shetani katika maisha yetu nguvu ya kaburi lake na nguvu ya ufufuko wake inakamilisha bwana yuko pamoja na sisi the lord is on our side do not fear i feel to tell you do not fear the lord is with you the lord is with with us Ustiogope, buwana yuko pamoja na sisi. Is holding us, ametushika kwa mkono wake. Anamaliza kila kitu. 
enough is enough. Enough is enough. Romo shikamaya. Ria bako shikente. Yes, sikanta. In Jesus' name, I pray, pray and thanksgiving. Amen. 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 And uh, okay. in that motion, I just want us to uh, unify ourselves with each and every single blessing that is being released right now. God is releasing a lot of blessings in our lives, a lot of every single blessing that Ziko Akatika Altayake is releasing them right now. And I want us just to uh, connect to those blessings. And the only way you can connect to each and every single blessing that is being released uh, when, 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 when we offer a thanksgiving, when we offer an offertory and put it on the altar of God, we unite ourselves with each and every single blessing that is being released. Whatever that is in your heart, whatever that you want God to do for you, connect yourself with each and every single blessing that is being uttered by the ministers of God in any single way. Let it be anointment before God. Let it be something that God smells and see this is what my child has just offered unto me. And tonight let us just connect ourselves with the blessings that are being released, the blessings of the risen Christ, that tonight he may in an awesome way continue to bless us. So, uh, the, 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 you can send your offerings to uh, the number that will be put on the chat. And then God will continue to bless you as we continue to uh, worship him in, any, in each and every single way. Let us connect ourselves with each and every single blessing that is being released. God is doing greater things and mighty things. Let us connect ourselves with that blessings. Amen. And amen. We thank you. Lord, I just bless you. Continue doing, Lord, what you do. Continue ministering into our hearts, Jesus. Continue rolling those stones to move things. Continue rolling each and every single stone, Lord. More of your power, Jesus. More of your power to move things. More of your power, Lord. More of your power, Jehovah. More of your power to move things. More of your power, my God. We bless you, Jesus. I give you glory, Lord. You are worthy, King of Kings. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, my Father. You are Lord, you are worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah God.
Hi, Ronald. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Uh, uh, I, by good grace, I feel I feel to encourage you uh, on offering uh, because the scripture is so clear kwamba to see end kwa bwana mikono mitupu and uh, maana yake ni kwamba any activity ambayo itamuhusisha Mungu kuwepo maana yake activity ya sala au maombi au chochote manake the presence of god is there na tunapomwabudu mungu hakuna hakuna ibada au hakuna maabudu ambayo yatakamilika pasipo sadaka so i encourage each and every one we have a time from now, now this time up tomorrow we try to connect through our offering and it will be the way to test the lord that kila alichofanya aliposhuka kuzimu na alipofufuka akafufuka na funguo alimpokonya shetani funguo za mamlaka akafufuka na funguo ya mambo yote mema yale ambayo tunapaswa tuyapo 